I just have my phone here, and that's what I'm looking at. Um, so, various. So, various sites and apps that I've been in love with. Um, the first one, the first two are apps slash, um, the first one is just an app, and it's called Asian Star Tournament. And it's just, it's a really silly game, but it's good to pass your time. So it looks like this, and you pick between boy and girl, and I'll do boys. And it just gives you a picture of two people. And you just pick who you find is more attractive or like who you like most. And then it leads up yeah, bye. and it just leads up to what is your favorite person out of all the ones that you've given. So it's just a really stupid, silly game that is fun to pass the time with. And the next one that I've been in love with is Pinterest. I have it both as an app as well as I use it online. The app I use a lot in class. Not in class, but like in between, like when we're watching a movie or something like that. Then I'll just go on Pinterest and start pinning stuff. And <coughs> excuse me. And it's just fun to look at all the different um, pictures out there and do your eyes and stuff like. That. No, to do it yourselves. D Y eyes. Yeah, D Y eyes and stuff like that. And I'm just, I really love it. I'll put my Pinterest account below if you want to follow me. No. The next one that I've really been loving is a site called Daily Look. I first heard it from Ingrid, um, or Miss Glamorazzi, and it's just a really interesting site that has different looks that they put together, and I just like seeing the different styles and what's in, and then it also has, like, what other people are wearing and how they style it themselves, and I just find it really interesting to look at and, um, see all the different people's style and stuff like that. So it's a really fun uh, site that I go on a bunch. And the next one, I wasn't sure if I should reveal this one because it's such a cool site and I don't want you guys boggling it, but it's called scarves.net. It's just about scarves. I am a scarf fanatic. I counted it yesterday and I have 19 scarves. All I bought like within this year because I just decided, hey, scarves are fantastic. Why not buy all of them? So, I am going through a slight obsession with scarves. They are so pretty to look at on other people, on myself, and they just like, I don't know why, but I just love scarves. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> so scarves.net is just a website um, that sells scarves, as well as it has like a database of all the different scarf knotting systems that you can do, knotting systems, uh, different ways you can tie a scarf, and stuff like that, and so it has so much, like, the history of scarves, sassy scarves, like, it is just such a cool site, and, like, I could spend hours on it just looking at the scarves. Um, it doesn't have, like, a huge selection of scarves, but it has, like, a bunch of different types, and, um, it's really good. I haven't bought anything from it yet, so I don't know exactly, like, how its whole ordering, ordering system goes. But, so far, I've really been enjoying the site and just looking at it and reading about scarves. You know, what else do you gotta do in your free time other than look at scarves? Nothing. So, now what you might be thinking that I look a little different than I did like three seconds ago, but I swear I'm not a diva that just decides in between videos to do a whole outfoon, outfoon, uh, outfit change and all that stuff. No. Um, I actually filmed that footage like Saturday and today's Thursday. So I got halfway done filming, and then my, like, camera started being weird, so I'm not sure actually how far I got, just because I haven't been had enough time to um, upload that footage and see how far I got, so <coughs> I'm still sick, by the way, so my voice still is crackly, so please excuse that, still, I know, yeah, but, so I'm going to start off with various, which I know y'all are very excited for. Various, various. Um, so, the first various things that I have, um, that I want to talk to you about. So, for people, I have three people, um, kind of for different reasons. Three, because I couldn't quite decide who I liked the most, and three also because it's for three months, and so I kind of liked certain, uh, some of the people a bit more in the previous months, and some are current, um, like, obsessions. So the first one is 
L from All That Glitters 21 or uh, L's Glitter Gossip. So I just have it written down here so I pronounce them all right. Um, I really in love with her. She, so, I love her. Um, I don't know what to say, why I like her. I just think she's really classy and intelligent and I feel like it's not completely just about being like a teenage girl, it's more about being an adult woman. And so I really like that about her. Um, yeah, so I think she's just very professional and her thing is just very clean and white and I just love Elle. Um, the next thing, next person, or people I should say that I've been really loving is SourceFed. I've been obsessed with their videos. It's like a news. Um, they put out news videos out a lot and bloopers and they're just really funny. They're like comedians doing news about serious stuff and it just works really well. He, um, they're part of Sexy Phil's company, Philip DeFranco, and I love Sexy Phil. He's one of my favorite uh, YouTubers as well. So when he came out with them, I didn't see them for a while, but then I like, one of my friends finally got me to go on their site and my favorite. I sometimes like pick them over Sexy Phil. I'm sorry Sexy Phil, but Lee Noon, she's so funny. Um, yeah, so I really like SourceFed. The next person I've been obsessed with is Essie, or Essie Button is a YouTube um, channel, and she is a Canadian girl who's living in the UK, and I just love her. She's so funny, like, 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 you know, so, yeah, I don't know if you actually don't understood it. I cannot speak today, so I'm very sorry about that. Just read my mind, okay? Just go for it. It's out there. Go. Got it? That's how much I love them. Yeah? Good. Okay. And... <coughs> By the way, I have been really loving lemon limeade. Um, citrus is supposed to be good for the throat, and since mine's been like this, so I've been drinking a lot of lemonade, but I like it with lime as well. So I just like... What's my drink of choice right now? Sorry for drinking. I just want to be able to talk, so I have to pair them together, unfortunately. <coughs> that and coughing. So it's a trio. It's a good trio. Talking, coughing, and drinking. Best. Okay, the next is music. And I have went through, like, a lot of different things, because what I do usually is when a new song comes out that I really enjoy, then I will listen to it for a week constantly, and, like, nothing else, just that. Um, so... There's been a couple weeks, so I, I'll just list all the songs and that I've been really enjoying right now are <coughs> that I've really been enjoying right now. So first, it's Four Minute Volume Up, Sister Alone, Girl Day, Oh My God. Then it went to Beyonce, and I went like through a crazy Beyonce phase halfway through May or like maybe up the entire May. Yeah, I'm talking about the right month. Okay. Um, but I really loved Love on Top and Countdown. Those are my two favorite ones from her newest album. Um, then after th I went to finish that craze, then I listened to Teen Top, um, To You, FX's Electric Track, and right now I'm really into After School's Flashback. I just love that song. It's kind of like, After School is like the Korean version of, um... Pussycat Dolls, that's who they're actually inspired by, and their newest song I found is a lot similar to one of their songs. I don't know what is that song, it just really reminds me of them. Um, I've also really been into Imogen Heap when I'm having kind of more slower days or I just like have a headache but I want to listen to music still. Um, and I've really been loving her, but so those are my favorite music that I've been loving right now. And next I'm going on to TV. Um, <coughs> give me a second. Okay, TV. So, there's a couple that I am watching as it's coming out on the TV, but there's a couple also that I have had to catch up on, um, and I've just been loving them. So, the ones on TV I've really been liking are Switched at Birth and Lion Game. Um, Switched at Birth I really like because it has a lot of signing in it, and I'm right now learning how to do ASL. So, I find it really interesting to see it in perspective to other people's lives and how they would use it, and... It's a little annoying sometimes, though, because they're wanting to do it so, like, fancy that they cut off the hands when they're showing signing parts because they want to have, like, a dramatic close-up of the face. So that part annoys me a little bit, but 
I think this show is really interesting and fun to watch. <coughs> so I really like that. Um, the next one is Lion Game. I really like the Lion Game. Um, yeah, I just find it really interesting, um, cute. I'm always down for romances. They're my favorite. Like, a show could be horrible, but if they kiss, it's my favorite show in the world. So I'm really a hopeless romantic in that sense. Um, and then I have gone Avatar Crazy, okay? Avatar Crazy. So I got, I watched all of the first Avatar Legend of Aang. I don't really like calling it that. I call it Avatar The Last Airbender. But Aang is his other name for it. But it just popped in my head first, even though I like the other one. Um, and I love that one. Like, the new one, uh, Avatar Legend of Korra, is okay. Um, I mean, it's good. But it's not as good. Like, I think it's more adventurous, uh, The Last Airbender, for me, at least it was. Because, like, <coughs> um, Legend of Korra, I feel, is more, like, teen angsty. Like, they just, like, want to do it now and screw the dolls, like that. Where Avatar was more just, like, kids surviving and had to go on an adventure and learning and really doing stuff. So I like that, I think, a little bit better than Korra. But, I mean, they're both really good. I don't feel that... I watched the season finale of Legend of Korra, and it doesn't feel like it's really going anywhere. Like, it didn't leave me, like, clipping, like, what's going to happen next? Oh, my gosh. So it didn't leave me really, like, holding on and wanting for the next season, even though they have scheduled it um, to happen. So I don't know what they're actually going to do about it. So I'm kind of excited to see what they will bring, but I'm not really, like, must have more. Yeah, so... That's my feeling on Avatar. I do love it, but on to the next is Game of Thrones. I was a whole season behind, and, like, my family would talk about it. I'd be like, la, 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 shh, don't tell me. And they're like, Jesse, just watch it. I'm like, okay. And so I finally, like, caught up on it, and so good. I love it. I was so sad when someone almost said, I won't tell you who, because in case you haven't seen it, but watch it. Game of Thrones. So good. Love it watch it. I'm serious. Go right now. No, not right now. Finish this video and then go. Watch it. Yeah. Um, it just has everything that I like in it. It has, like, so it has, like, the love and it has, like, the raunchiness as well as, like, sn like, sneakiness and all that stuff. So, I really like Game of Thrones and, like, a lot of my pe uh, my people, my friends that I hang out with watch it as well. So, it's a good conversation goers. Um, talk about it if we're not sure if we like don't have anything to talk about we're like so Game of Thrones they're like yes Game of Thrones and so it's a good conversation uh hold her together in my family and group of friends so I really enjoyed it and yeah I'm up to date on it and I can't wait for the next um uh, season I don't know what's coming out I've heard a date that I forget now so I'm excited for that and yeah, I guess that's it for my various and my favorites video. Um, thank you for watching and see you later. Bye!